Godspell begins at the beginning, the endless circle of light in the darkness, the creation of life, the creation of the word and song, until mankind is a babble of voices and confusion. Then chaos yields to order and hope. Mankind prepares to receive a savior. It's a very sweet account of the story of Christ, I think, and uh, it embraces all of the de denominations easily, I feel. Uh, it's a celebration. It deals with the scriptures in a very lighthearted, uh, uh, joyous way. It the big question in the minds of many is, is a classic of 1971 something that needs to be updated for the 1980s? There are new references to Johnny Carson, Joan Rivers, today's rock scene, for example. But the colorful explosion of sound, color, and ideas that is Godspell has always encouraged constant updating. It could be anywhere where there was life, where there was an explosion of energy. It could be a back street. It could be a TV studio. It could be anywhere. So whereas some plays are very much of their time, this one, I think, can be anywhere, anytime that one chooses. Christ's first appearance is truly magical here, a rainbow warrior, a flame of many colors, igniting his followers. I'm John Tibbetts for KCTV 5.